He'll send us a war for sure, Donald. I'm thinking you're right there, Dougie. The luck side being against us. An engine done a ken what to do for the best. Snow came early that year. It was heavier than usual. It stayed, too, and choked the lines. Most engines hate snow. Donald and Douglas were used to it. They knew what to do. Their drivers spoke to the inspector, and they were soon coupled back to back with a man between their tenders. Then, each with a snow plough on their front, they set to work. They puffed busily backwards and forwards, patrolling the line. Generally, the snow slipped away easily, but sometimes they found deeper drift. Then they would charge them again and again, snorting, slipping, puffing, panting, until they had forced their way through. Presently, they came to a drift which was larger than most. They charged it and were battling for another try. There was a feeble whistle. People waved and shouted. Gosh, sakes, Donald! It's Henry! Do not fash yourself, Henry. By the wee. We'll have you out. The fat controller was returning soon. The twins were glum. He'll send us back for sure, they said. It's a shame, sympathised Percy. A lot of nonsense about a signal box, grumbled Gordon. Too many of those, if you ask me. That brake van, too, put in James. Good riddance, that's what I say. They were splendid in the snow, added Henry. It isn't fair. They all agreed that something must be done. But none knew what. One day, Percy talked to Edward about it. What you need, said Edward, is a deputation. He explained what that was. Percy ran back quickly. Edward says we need a depot station he told the others. Of course, said Gordon. The question is... What is a desperation? asked Henry. It's when engines tell the fat controller something's wrong and ask him to put it right. Did you say, tell the fat controller? asked Duck thoughtfully. There was a long silence. Propose, said Gordon at last, that Percy be our, um, disputation. Can't I squeak, Percy? I can't. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry. It's easy. That's settled then, said Gordon. Poor Percy wished it wasn't. Hello, Percy. It's nice to be back. Percy jumped. Some trucks went flying. Oh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir, please, sir. You look nervous, Percy. What's the matter? Uh, please, sir, uh, they've made me a, a desperation, sir, uh, to speak to you, sir. I, I don't like it, sir. The fat controller pondered. Do you mean a deputation, Percy? He asked. Yes, sir, please, sir. It's Donald and Douglas, sir. They say, sir, that if you send them away, sir, they'll be turned into scrap, sir. That'll be dreadful, sir. Please, sir, don't send them away, sir. They're nice engines, sir. Thank you, Percy. That will do. He walked away. I had a, a deputation yesterday, said the fat controller. I understand your feelings, but I do not approve of interference. He paused impressively. Donald and Douglas, I hear that your work in the snow was good. What colour paint would you like? The twins were surprised. Oh, blue, sir, please. Very well, but your names will be painted on you. We'll have no more mistakes. Thank you, sir. Does this mean that the both of us... The fat controller smiled. It means... But the rest of his speech was drowned in a delighted chorus of cheers and whistles. The twins were here to stay.
wish you a Merry Christmas. We 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 wish you a Merry Christ